six foot eight inches tall. He's become a hero to a generation of teenagers thanks to his comic turn as Mr. Gilbert in E4's BAFTA winning show, The Inbetweeners. And he also happens to be one of the funniest stand up acts of the moment. <laughs> Please welcome Greg Davis. <laughs> To the show. Well, thanks for having me. I'm very excited. Yes, God, you are taller than me. I'm sitting down now, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you, Janet? Six foot. Oh. Are you? Yeah, but I've always married shorter men. Of course. So, so sorry. You've got no choice, though, have you? Because big men always marry small women. Yeah. So tall women have to compromise. Oh. I know. Are you, are you more it's attracted easier to, to shorter about on this women? Yes, I've always always dated shorter women. Yeah. You'd have to, wouldn't you? You've got to find some. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've got to You know that clip that we just saw of you there? Yeah. What were the other nicknames? You had Jaffa, Herod. What, what were the yeah, others? Yeah, do you know what? It's interesting, isn't it, that I can't tell you um, any of those on this show. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, then. So your tour that you're on now is it a little bit cleaner? It can no. 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 <laughs> Thank you very no, you much, should, Greg. You should be aware. <laughs> it's um, yes, it's quite fruity. What yeah. can people it's expect? It's nice to be then? on a show that my um, niece can watch. I always do a little joke when I'm on a show that my niece can watch. She's only three. Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah. 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 Which camera am I on? There you go. That one. Yeah. Lucy, help! I'm stuck in the telly again. <laughs> That'll, uh, that'll keep her busy for the well, afternoon. We like traumatising you know children on this show. Do you know how attractive that makes you to every woman out there? Does it? Yeah. Yes. Because they know you like little children and they go, oh, aren't you lovely? Yes. Yes. Some would say it was manipulative on my part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what can people expect then on your tour? Um, an out-of-shape middle-aged man throwing himself around the stage. <laughs> Sounds like when you were teaching. Yes, it was. <laughs> Very similar. So are you silly? Yes, it is quite silly. So, uh, when yeah. you say silliness, is it like, is it si slapstick silliness that you're bringing back, or is it just uh, a it, daft it's, thing? It's the sort of story of my life, the tour I'm doing at the moment ah. is, is, is uh, um, it's autobiographical, but it's, it's told through very, in a very specific way. And it, it relates to your worrying thing, actually. Okay. Because I am a terrible worrier, and my mum is the queen of the worriers. She'll be worrying about me talking about her being a worrier <laughs> yeah. on telly right now. She'll be worried well, that you're trapped you, in the telly. You, mum? Yeah. <laughs> she, but, um, the show, the show's called Firing Cheese Balls at a Dog, which is yeah. a ridiculous title. That's unique. That ridiculous. is unique. I've never heard that But before. it's something that I did with a friend on holiday. There was a a dog in our way and we had some <laughs> cheese balls and a catapult. Oh. No, no. You're losing them. Oh, you're losing, losing them. All those <laughs> the dog wasn't hurt. The dog, oh. the dog looked pleased to have cheese Soft balls fired at yeah. <laughs> Very, they're an ineffective ammunition. But, um, <laughs> uh, my friend and I just found ourselves doing this ridiculous thing and, it, and I realised it was the first time in months that I hadn't been worrying. I know it sounds ridiculous but I'd just been doing this stupid thing mm. and we were laughing and mm. I wasn't worried about what happened in the past or what was coming up in the future or, you know, I was just doing something. Is so that, that why you decided to make the, the, the routine that you're going to do just about daftness rather than, you know, some comedians, either there's a little hint of darkness or they're very profound yeah. or, or what have you. This is just pure ridiculousness. Well, it, it, it's, it, it's just moments in my life where I wasn't thinking about anything else. It's not, yeah. they're not always silly moments, but I, they're just things where I was lost in the moment, doing mm. something rather than projecting forward and worrying about... Okay. I'm a bit worried the audience might pelt you with cheese balls. Well... <laughs> That I, is a worry. But I deserve it, but that'll be one of those moments for me if the loose women audience, who all of whom I walk past, no, none of whom recognise me. No, uh, I'm talking about these people coming to your show. You've got a clue, have you? <laughs> the people coming to the cheese ball tour, tour might start pelting you with cheese balls. So be it, Janet. Now, I want to ask you about being a teacher, because my partner is a teacher, was a teacher for many years. A little man. He's not that little. Isn't he? He's, Fine in all the right departments. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought this was a clean show. No. I thought this was a clean no. show. No. Anyway, the in between us. Big feet, yeah. In between us. Yes. Your nasty, nasty, nasty I'm character. Horrible. How much mm. of that character was you as a teacher? Absolutely nothing. Zero. As so you mean you were a nice teacher? Well, I was sort of a silly teacher, I think. Um, I, I get. What did you teach? I taught English and drama. Oh. Yeah. For how did many you like years? it? Thirteen. Wow. Long old time, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't like it. <laughs> Why did you do it? 
I don't know. I sort of left. I left drama school and thought, right, well, I'll start now my massive comedy career. And uh, then I woke up 13 years later, going, what, what happened? Is it true? Yeah. Like stand up, isn't it? Teaching, really. It is, but you're not allowed to give audience members detention. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit. Well, well, how did you get into stand up then? Um, I just. I actually did a course. No. You no. can do a stand up what course. What do they teach you? What to how to stand up. It's amazing. Really? <laughs> now I think about it, he was ripping me up. That's the biggest thing about being a stand up. You've got to find out what your voice is and, mm. you know, how you make people and laugh. And if you're funny. If you are, yes. Yeah. There, there are some people on that course who. Not really. No. no. Where are we're they now? Teaching. I don't know, but I'm sure they're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, your comedy tour. Uh, <laughs> Firing cheese balls at a dog. Yes. This is a title I never thought I'd say. Uh, <laughs> it carries on until the 24th of June. And best of luck with it. Is, is In Between Us coming back? Are we going to see you on the telly? No. Uh, there's a film, though, coming out in Great. the summer. Yes. Okay. I don't... Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's a film that I'm uh, briefly in, and it's brilliant, the film. Good. It's really great. Well, today was your first time being on Newsroom, and you can come back and tell us about the film then. Well, marvellous. Thank you. That I will. I've lovely. had a lovely time. Oh, and... you did very well. We're you survived. Give you a did I? We will. Yeah. It's Greg Davis, everyone. <laughs>